Well, Hancock third, Hampel second. And because Hampel is dropping another point here, it reduces Hancock's target to one point or better. And he is now literally half a lap away from being crowned World Speedway Champion for the second time in his career. Holter's going to win it, Hampel second. But Greg Hancock's third place means he is champion of the world. His pit crew know it. He doesn't quite know it yet. He'll have it confirmed when he gets back to the pits. He's just about to be told the news. You are champion. That is enough. He's now being told it. by Stefan Anderson and Richard Child. <laughs> it's official. Herbie Hancock is world champion. I still don't think he believes it. Look, I don't think he knows it. Nigel, he's no way. Tell me. Yeah. It's finally sinking in. Greg Hancock, what a story in World Speedway this is. Chris Holder down the back straight for the final time. 25 years of age. He's about to be crowned world champion for the first time in his career. And Chris Holder of Australia is the champion of the world. <laughs> Look at that, the likeness, guys. Man, he's happy, I can tell you. In front of the home crowd, he represents this club in the Polish League. Went out there, did the business. Jason Crump's waiting to congratulate him. But it's, uh, there is a new world champion. And many congratulations to Chris Holder. What a performance from Ty Wofford that he's just over a lap away from becoming World Speedway Champion for 2013. A win for Wofferden and third for Hampel would mean that Hampel cannot catch the young man Pauling Scunthorpe in Great Britain. And it's going to be Ty Wofferden who is going to become World Speedway Champion. What a performance! Wofferden now cannot be caught. Fabulous right there in heat five. Seals the deal. He's the new world champion. It's been a remarkable season for the young Brit. Fully deserved, and it's done it in style in heat five. And here's his mum, Sue. What an emotional moment. Sue and Ty celebrate, and his girlfriend as well. Yeah, fabulous scenes. But it's all about the man in second place in the blue helmet colour. 44 years of age, first won the title in 1997. Wow. He's done it again in 2014 in front of his family. It's the USA's Greg Hancock. He is the new champion of the world. What an outstanding achievement it is. He's been around for so long. He suffered a nasty injury just a few short weeks ago. He's battled back, secures his third title. He really is a fabulous and ambassador for the sport. Greg Hancock fully deserves to be world champion. There's the trophy, fabulous scenes. He knows that trophy is his once again. Celebration time with Team Hancock is loyal. The crew members who have been there for many years now. Jason Doyle on his way through to the final, but this is a moment where Ty Wolfenden will be crowned World Speedway Champion. Doyle the winner, great step from him. Magnificent ride from Jason Doyle. But that man now knows, with Greg Hancock's results, that Ty Wolfenden of Great Britain has just won his second world title in three years. It's a fairy tale story. He failed to make the semi finals, but Ty Wolfenden of Great Britain is now confirmed as the 2015 World Speedway Champion. What a fabulous performance it's been. He was nearly lost to the sport a few years back. He came back into the Grand Prix series, won in 2013, just didn't do the business last year. Comes up with a terrific performance level this year. The consistency, the speed shown. Not ideal doing it watching one of your best friends not score points, but that has resulted in him winning his second world title in three years. Celebration times, the emotions now beginning to be shown. Tears of joy running down his cheeks. It is a special moment for the man. Greg Hancock, if he stays where he is, he will be the 2016 World Speedway Champion. The fourth time he has achieved such a milestone at off turn four. He's done it again. Greg Hancock is the world champion for the fourth time. What, and what a way to do it. He, he fought and put himself in a position there where he had to overtake his... Greg team. Hancock, the adulation from his crew and the fans. Yeah, I wish you'd have a good time, Greg. He doesn't look happy. <laughs> oh, come on. They call him the Grin, that's his nickname.
And right now, can I tell you something? He's smiling like a carpet snake in a foul house. Into the last lap we go. He'll be hoping and keeping everything crossed that that chain stays on, Crikey. that the bike doesn't blow up. He's coming now, round the fourth turn. It is Jason Doyle! This time last year, he was in hospital with injuries that could have finished his career. And here he is, 12 months later, the official 2017 FIM World Speedway Champion! What a night for him. Such a story. Jason Doyle has been an outstanding rider, the outstanding rider in the last two seasons. But now he's clinched it. Now the relief. The celebrations can begin. Oh, just for a moment, I thought Smalzik was going to wipe him out. Into the last lap, the World Championship. He's going to do it now, Nigel. No, he's going to nail it here. Ty Woffenden is half a lap away from making history. Ty Woffenden in the white helmet is going to be World Speedway Champion for a third time! Woffy! 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 Three world titles and Great Britain's greatest ever rider in Speedway history! What an honor of Speedway! He has been through the mill tonight! He is now joining the greats of the sport, Nigel! Whoa, he's had to dig deep to do this! He's produced when he absolutely needed it to! Heat 20 is so important in the night! Rode strongly in the semi final. Ty Wuffenden, world champion again! Three times in the last six seasons he's managed to do it. Outstanding achievement. He doesn't want any mechanical gremlins. No, here. he does not. Here he goes <laughs> down the back straight and a new world champion and only the third in Speedway history from this nation, Poland. Jerzy Sozakul in 73, Golub in 2010 and Bartosz Smarslik in 2019 is the new Speedway world champion. What a night for Bartosz Smarslik. He has done it the hard way. He came from behind. Tetro and Boyers really was a defining moment in the championship chase. Many congratulations to Bartosz Smarslik. Fully deserved, a genuine world-class rider and rightly a world champion. And for this moment, this is fully deserved. Special scenes here in Torrent tonight. He's not going to run a lap, is he? Wouldn't surprise me. What a moment for him, the new world champion. It has not been his night really so far, but it's about to be. He has ridden superbly well. He now hits the front. Bartosz Marslake going to win the world championship. Bartosz Marslake is about to become only the first rider in Speedway history to be a Polish double world champion. And congratulations to him. What a performance from Bartosz Marslake. A wonderful, wonderful display. And the third youngest rider to win back-to-back -back world titles behind Barry Briggs and Bruce Pedal in the history of the sport. Bartosz Marslik is back-to-back -back champion of the world. What a ride that was. I can assure you he would have been so nervous coming into that race. What a night for Bartosz Marslik. He's on top of the world once again. Artem Laguta has won four of the last five rounds of the World Championship. He's recovered from a poor start tonight. It's Artem Laguta who is the new Speedway Champion of the World! What a moment for Artem Laguta! He was under huge pressure after the first three rides, but he showed the character, and all of a sudden, he is now, as you rightly say, the new world champion, the Grand Prix champion of Speedway. What a way to do it. He's won five Grand Prix already this year. His form has been extraordinary and it is fully deserved. It would have been a travesty in truth if he hadn't managed to do it tonight. Front here, Chris. He is indeed. He looks a lot more oh, settled Madsen's in this round. Oh, oh, Madsen's packed up. It's all over for Madsen. This would hand it to Smarsnik. He yep. would indeed, as long as Smarslik completes the race in semi-final number two, of course. But no doubt about the uh, the moment here for Ty Wuffenden out in front. Got to say that um, uh, he is looking for the final now, set for the final. Lingwin, what a dynamic move that was on the first turn. But down the back straight for the last time. 
Wolfenden is going to go through to the final. He's going to be joined by the home crowd favourite, Frederick Lingwood, and Martin Bachelet misses out. So Duke just cannot predict this sport at times. It's been a good fortune for Wolfenden in his last qualifying race, and he makes the final. Martin Vasilik top scores and misses out. Yeah, unbelievable. Lingren, we see it so often. There's a dejected Leon Madsen. Yeah, he would be disappointed. But Lingren, he goes about his business quietly, and then he just gets it together at the end. My He's understanding, Chris, sorry to jump over you, my understanding is that... that uh, Bartos Marzik has just got a complete four yeah. laps here and he's going to be world champion. Ty Wolfenden makes the final. Freddie Lingren goes through with him and Martin Vasilik and Leon Madsen just missing out. Drama here in semi-final number one. Desperate times for Madsen. Bike packing up at uh, just the vital moment there, but he'd missed the start and it was looking unlikely anyway. I think they're celebrating. Well, we're hearing now that as a consequence of that uh, retirement from Leon Madsen, that retirement means that it can't be beat. And many congratulations. Not the ideal way. I thought for a moment that he was going to have to complete the laps, but it isn't the case. And for Bartosz Marslik, what a career he's having. Three world championships in four years. That in itself is superb. Tony Ricardson in on the scene. And before he's even got to the start line in semi-final number two, we've got a new world champion. Yeah, 